darja akhl se aage ki ye noor chirage raha hai as a child and then as a grown up i wondered how how to go beyond the confines of reason confines of the learned and embrace what is beyond intellect what is beyond skill beyond technique beyond the grammar of the discipline and then one day eureka i found my dad dipping his brush in a pot of tea again and again accidentally of course and making a painting out of tea unmindful and then i thought perhaps alam ikbal was talking about this frenzy that overtakes the artist when he paints for he does not paint a canvas he paints a door he paints a window to another world a world that is beyond reason that is aklisyage ladies and gentlemen we have amidst us one such artist artist parish mathi who has constructed several such doors and windows one of the most monumental being the colorful odyssey that adorns the new delhi international airport good evening everyone we have gathered here on a pleasant thursday evening to keep up with the custom of sharing sharing a beautiful journey into art artist and beyond i welcome each one of you on behalf of chandigarh lalit kala academy to the audio visual presentation aptly titled the world of paresh mathi we have with us the man of the hour artist paresh mathi we also have with us professor b n goswami a man of rare rare intellect but most of all what i admire is his humility we also have with us the guest of honor mr r k pachnanda chairman haryana public service commission so we welcome you we also have with us some guests all the way from delhi we welcome mr murthy ahuja and mr id guliani of ahuja framers and mr manoj tripathi and ms kiran mohan of the creative mind magazine we welcome you all ladies and gentlemen the art lovers who've come here to witness the monumental we begin with the floral welcome i request professor b n goswami to kindly present a floral welcome to artist paresh mathi we can all join in with a warm round of applause I request Mr. Bhim Malhotra to present a bouquet of flowers to Professor B N Goswami. I request Mr. Ravinder Kumar Sharma to present a bouquet of flowers to Mr. R K Pachnanda and welcome him. I again request Bhim sir to present a floral welcome to Mr. Murthy Ahuja and Mr. I D Guliani. And now a floral welcome to Mr Manoj Tripathi from the Creative Mind magazine as I mentioned before. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. To tell you more about today's event I would like to call upon Mr Bhim Malhotra chairman Chandigarh Lalit Kala Academy. Hello. So good evening everyone. Respected Sri B N Goswami ji R K Pachananda ji chairman Haryana Public Service Commission a special guest of today. Special वेलकम टू श्री प्रेस मैटी जी मूर्ति आहूजा जी आई डी गुनियाणी जी आहूजा फेमस मिस्टर त्रिपाठी जी मनोज त्रिपाठी जी एंड मैडम मोहन मुझे और हमारे जो सिटी आर्ट लवर्स सिटी आर्टिस्ट सीनियर आर्टिस्ट हमारे मेंबर्स मैं आप सबका इस यूनिक इवेंट के ऊपर तय दिल से थैंक्स करता हूँ और जहाँ तक ये अपना मेरे को चंडीगढ़ में रहते 39, 38 इयर्स हो गए तो एक बीच में एक टाइम आया था 87 से 92। टू आई वॉज अवे फ्रॉम चंडीगढ़ आई वॉज इन दिल्ली तो दिल्ली में तो मैं उसी टाइम परेश जी भी 89 के आसपास 80 मैं भी वहीं पे ही चंडी मैं चंडीगढ़ से दिल्ली गया था ये उस टाइम कलकत्ता से आए थे तो मैं इनके काम देखता रहता था आर्ट कॉलेज में उस टाइम पढ़ते थे तो उस टाइम काफी मतलब कि एक हवा सी चली हुई थी कि कलकत्ता से कोई लड़का आया कोई है बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहा है वाटर कलर बड़े अच्छे हैं उसके और फिर उसके बाद फिर तो वो तो एक आर्ट कॉलेज की बात है धीरे धीरे पूरे दिल्ली में वो बात फैल गई बड़ी बड़ी आर्ट गैलरीज बड़ा इनके देवर ऑल बिहाइंड हिम फिर ये तो दिल्ली की बात है धीरे धीरे फिर पूरे इंडिया में बात फैल तो मतलब क्या प्रेस मैटी मतलब जिनका जो काम था वेरी पावरफुल ये तो इंडिया की बात है फिर धीरे धीरे फिर वर्ल्ड में इनके चर्चे होने लगे देखो एज द एज इनकी फिफ्टी है अभी फिफ्टी टू और सोलह सो एटी वन क्या बात है 
सो वो वो धीरे धीरे वर्ल्ड में बात इनकी फैलनी शुरू इनके शो अभी भी ये इंडिया में तो कम ही रहते हैं कभी ही इज़ वेरी बिजी शेड्यूल आई नो कैसे मतलब कि हमारा डेढ़ साल से इनके साथ बात चल रहा था वी आर फैन ऑफ ही चदर दिल्ली में मैं आठ को अच्छा हमारा ये आहूजा फ्रेमर जो है यहाँ पर हमारी काफ़ी मुलाकात होती रहती थी ये जो आहूजा मूर्ति जी गुरयाणी जी मैं और ये जो ये कि जो हमारी ट्राइंगल बनी है उसी वजह से आज प्रेस जी यहाँ पे है मतलब कि तो ही ही इज़ वेरी मेरे कहने का ये मतलब है कि जो इनकी भी जो आहूजा फ्रेम इनकी भी जर्नी पर प्रेस जी के साथ आपस में ग्रो हो रहा है सारा कुछ ही है तो अब इनके शो देखो कलेक्शन देखो क्या टाटा बिरला ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम लंदन रोबिन म्यूजियम न्यूयॉर्क पता नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता कोई इंडिया में कोई रहा होगा जिनके पास इनकी कलेक्शन ना हो हमारे यहाँ डोली खन्ना जी सामने बैठे हैं इनके पास भी पेंटिंग है इनकी तो इनका दूसरी जो मैंने इनके काम में देखा देखो आर्टिस्ट तो बहुत अपने तरीके से आर्ट कर रहे हैं बड़े बड़े आर्टिस्ट आर्ट कर रहे हैं जो वट इज दिस इज माई पर्सनल व्यू हर एक आर्टिस्ट इंस्पायर नहीं करता जो यंग जनरेशन है जो आज इन्होंने इंस्पायर बहुत किया है मुझे पता है कि वाटर कलर को कोई पूछता भी नहीं था बंगाल से बेचारे फोल्ड करके आते थे थोड़ा बहुत जो मिला लेके चले जाते थे तो इन्होंने जो वाटर कलर का जो एक्चुअल जो स्टैंडर्ड है जो प्राइसिंग है जो बिग साइज फॉर्मेट वाटर कलर वो इन्हीं ही स्टार्ट किया है मैं दैट क्रेडिट गोज टू परेश मैटी और उन्होंने और ये यंग जनरेशन को जितना इंस्पायर किया है हम भी उसका हिस्सा है मतलब वो क्रेडिट इनको ही जाता है मतलब खाली वाटर कलर नहीं इनके आयल कलर देख लो अक्राइलिक कलर देख लो ड्राइंग देख लो इंस्टॉलेशन देख लो फोटोग्राफर फिल्म मेकर ही इज He is doing everything. ये नहीं doing everything नहीं he is doing equally good मतलब पूरा master techniques है इधर master man इतने बढ़िया काम कर रहे हैं मतलब कि जो इनका काम उठा के देख लो आप इंदिरा गांधी एयरपोर्ट पे देखो जब आप वहाँ से डिपार्चर पे आते हैं तो वहाँ पे मैंने इनको फोन किया कि परेश जी आपकी पेंटिंग नजर नहीं आ रही तो हम डिपार्चर पे ही हैं हमारे एक स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम थी हम उन पर बच्चों को पेरिस रोम और फ्लोरेंस रोम और ये लेके गए थे हम तो मैंने इनको बोला कि कहा कहते भीम जी आपको डिपार्चर पे मिलेगी अभी नहीं अभी तो आप जा रहे हो वापसी में देखना तो वापसी में हमने देखा जो बिग हुक पेंटिंग और 800 सौ साढ़े आठ सौ स्क्वेयर फुट का काम है वो वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड इतना लंबा बिल्कुल शताब्दी एक्सप्रेस की तरह चलता है पूरा लंबा काम ये तो वो वो भी क्रेडिट इनको जाता है दूसरी बात तो जो ही इज डू द मिनिमम मिनिमम इनका जो काम क्या है ये आर्ट इज माई लाइफ एंड आर्ट इज माई ड्रीम ये इनका टाइटल है उसी के हिसाब से ही चल रहे हैं जो एक मिनिमम एक्सप्रेशन नो मिनिमम वर्क एंड मैक्सिमम एक्सप्रेशन तो ये ये इनकी खासियत है थोड़ा सा काम करके मैक्सिमम एक्सप्रेशन ले आते हैं और जो ये कहते हैं ना कहते हैं आई सा लेस मतलब कि ये देखो ये कितनी बड़ी बात है ये थोड़ा देखते हैं अब कोई चीज़ सामने है हमारे कई आर्टिस्ट डिटेल में ही फंस जाते हैं वही डिटेल पेंटिंग में आ, तो इनको इनको कम कम अपने आप ही दिखाई देता मैं गया वेनिस हम गए थे अब वेनिस में वहाँ पे सैन मार्को है बुरानो है इनके इन्होंने हमने दो दिन वेनिस में लगाई है दो महीने वहाँ लगा के आए हैं तो वहाँ इन्होंने देखा कि वहाँ इन्होंने देखा कि वहाँ इन्होंने क्या हमने देखा तो इनकी बुक वेनिस के ऊपर है मैंने देखा कि जी परेश जी ने ये भी पेंट किया ये भी पेंट किया मैं तो उनको बड़ा क्लोजली हम दिल्ली में भी हम मिलते रहते हैं तो ये भी पेंट ये क्या बात है बनाने वालों को मेरे ख्याल हजारों साल लगे होंगे बनाने में इन्होंने स्ट्रोक्स मार के पूरी बिल्डिंग खड़ी कर दी है सो दिस इज द मास्टर मतलब की इतनी बड़ी बड़ी बिल्डिंग मैं देख रहा था खाली बिल्डिंग नहीं बनाई इन्होंने एक समथिंग आई वॉन्ट टू एड बिल्डिंग तो दिन में ठीक है लाइट में नजर आ रही है देर जो मूड देर इज ए एक्सप्रेशन देर इज ए रिदम इन दिस बिल्डिंग वो एक मूड है बारिश में वही बिल्डिंग नजर आ रही है सुबह नजर आ रही है यू कैन जस्ट द टाइम विद इन ए मिनिमम स्ट्रोक्स तो सर परेश जी चंडीगढ़ ललित कला अकेडमी एंड वी आर्टिस्ट एंड ऑल वी आर ओनर्ड विद यूर प्रजेंटेशन जो काफी टाइम से हमारा आपका उधार चल रहा था वो पूरा और मैंने तो देखा है इनके माइंड में हर टाइम ही हैपनिंग चल रही है, है कोई ना कोई आर्ट मतलब हम इधर गए लोर म्यूजियम पेरिस वहाँ मैंने देखा रेम्ब्रा ने कितना बढ़िया लाइट का यूज किया है और इनकी पेंटिंग में देखो लाइट लाइट एंड शेड एंड डेप्थ वो तो कमाल है इनका और जो बड़े बड़े साइज में जो दिखाते हैं तो मतलब कि 
मैं बड़ी मुझे बड़ी खुशी है कि आज हमारे यहाँ चंडीगढ़ के नहीं आए हैं को, कोई करनाल से अम्बाला से दिल्ली से शिमला से और कहाँ कहाँ से मतलब कि उनके आर्ट लवर देखो मूर्ति दी एंड सारे ये दिल्ली से स्पेशल आए हैं प्रेजेंटेशन देखने हाँ जी अच्छा बेंगलोर से भी आए हैं चलो गुड तो तो एंड में मैं प्रेस जी का दोबारा से थैंक्स करना चाहूँगा कि जो आप हमारे यंग जनरेशन को इंस्पायर कर रहे हो तो दिस इज़ ए ग्रेट थिंग और जो हमारे स्पेशल गेस्ट हैं बी एन गोस्वामी जी हमेशा ही इनका हमारे ऊपर साया रहता है अभी ये कहीं और पचनंदा जी हैं तो व, और हमारा जो मीडिया वाले हैं पारुल जी हैं नोनका जी हैं निरुपमा जी हैं और शंकर जी हैं भास्कर में और भास्कर ग्रुप का मैं सबका थैंक्स करना चाहूँगा और हमारा जो ललित कला अकेदमी के मेंबर हैं विशाल जी कमलपाल रविंद्र शर्मा और शिल्पी सुभाष जी मैं सबका तय दिल से थैंक्स करना चाहूँगा प्रेस जी वंस अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच तो वी सलूट यूर डेडिकेशन thank you sir he's already said a lot of what i was supposed to say <laughs> mute canvases tell the tales of volatile urges and when they do time and space vibrate in extreme frenzy the tale that we've gathered here today is an exceptional one this journey from tumluk in midnapur to the marina bay sands exhibition to tate brutain to shows in new york tokyo istanbul with padma shri under the belt the trajectory has been a long full of hard work and extremely enriching for artist paresh mathi before we embark on this journey with him a few words about him given that majority of you are artists and art lovers and already know so much about him i will try to keep the introduction brief as possible all worlds a stage paresh mathi was born in 1965 in tamluk a small town in west bengal renowned for its remarkable heritage of terracotta parish's engagement with art began with a very early age while in school he made clay images of gods and goddesses and sold them to support his education he started painting river scenes landscapes and watercolors while still at school and later began working with oils the artist mastered the technique of oil painting at the government college of art kolkata his single minded determination to acquire formal training paid off when he became when he came to delhi to join the delhi college of art mfa thereafter to the uk on a british council visitorship to study j m w turner and john constable parish's adventures adventurous and experimental personality has prodded him to explore all mediums watercolors oils mixed media and various disciplines be drawings installation sculptures photography and filmmaking parish's uniqueness lies in his rediscovering the charm and flavor and magic of india in his canvases the artist has done series of work on almost all facets and destinations of india and then across the seas to paint london venice china japan sweden and norway as bhimsa mentioned in the last four decades parish has to his credit 81 solo exhibitions across the world in india on the occasion of rabindranath tagore's 150th birth anniversary an exhibition of watercolors shesh lake was organized at the national gallery of modern art new delhi and mumbai his paintings one of the longest in the world is 850 feet and is on display at the t3 terminal at indira gandhi airport new delhi parish is the recipient of the padma shri royal watercolor society award in london the harmony award in mumbai the governor's gold medal from academy of fine arts kolkata the indian society of oriental art kolkata pandit ravi shankar award from college of art in new delhi the all india fine arts and crafts society has awarded him twice for best color paint watercolor painting he was awarded for outstanding painting by the birla academy of art and culture devati modi foundation award for the achievement in the field of art and culture i could really go on and on but i made a promise so ladies and gentlemen without much ado i now call upon the stage the artist himself mr parish mat sir the dais is all yours it's very difficult to call an artist to talk namaskar good evening and sat sri akal it's a great pleasure and a great honor for me to be here at chandigarh lalit kala academy 
this has been going on for the last one and a half year. They have been planning, but uh, somehow it was not happening. So it was the day that had to happen. Dr. B. N. Goswami, um, Padma Bhushan, and very well-known writer, art historian. I am very honored that you are here and gracing the occasion. Uh, my friend, Mr. R. K. Pachananda, the Chairman, Public Service Commission, and Chairman, Lalitkal Academy, Bhimji. Thank you very much for inviting me here. And friends from Delhi, Press Fraternity, a lot of art lovers from different parts of the you know, places. It's a great honor once again. Uh, my art will speak much more, but uh, feel free and enjoy this evening to interact um, with me, to all the dignitaries, and enjoy the film and enjoy some of my, you know, slides. I would say just the reproduction. So thank you very much once again. Mm. इन्फॉर्म करना भूल गए कि हमारे एडवाइजर सर उन्होंने आना था अभी मेरे को उनके पीएस का फोन आया कि ड्यू टू सर्टेन सरकमटांसेज तो दे आर ही नॉट अबल टू कम सो दिस वाज जस्ट फॉर योर काइंड इनफॉरमेशन सो वी आर वेरी थैंकफुल टू हिम ही इज वेरी गुड टेस्ट और मैडम ने भी आना था दिस वाज जस्ट फॉर योर And uh, if you notice this film, it will tell you the real journey from the nature to people and how the light plays. As chairman said that the light is very important. I work during the day only. I never worked at night. I never painted at night because uh, I, I get up very early morning and I observe, I stay very quiet how the sun is rising, how the nature is playing, the quietness of the nature. That was the film is starting. The film is actually the day in the life of Rajasthan. 89, when I came to Delhi as Everybody has a fascination of Rajasthan, but as you know, because of Satyajit Ray, the great filmmaker, made that Sonar Killa film, to Bengali's heart, the Rajasthan is very, very special. Because, you know, Bengali is very water laden sky, surrounded by water bodies, last green fields, but very soothing, no color that much. So the color, in Rajasthan, it attracts them in a big way. If you see the before my Delhi and Rajasthan, my, it was dominated by landscape, purely landscape, surrounded by boat, water, where I grew up. My first travel to Rajasthan, 1990, when I saw, the nature has no color, but how the people they are giving 
color to the nature. It really attracted me, hypnotized me. And slowly, slowly, the figure came into my painting. Next year, it was a long trip, uh, about two months in Rajasthan, during my College of Art holidays. Then next trip, when I was in Jaisalmer, I was fascinated with their music, the folk music. And I started painting the sharp feature, the turban, the moustache, their attire, and simplicity. Then I started doing their portraits. And slowly, slowly, the painting became completely figurative. Color came in. And it's like a riot of color, as all you know in Rajasthan. Once, uh, the later stage of Mr. You know, Souza, if in Souza, we were in Mumbai together at a friend's place. And in that friend's house, there was a painting of mine, very yellow, red, blue. And Souza asked the host that, whose painting is that? She said that, Parish. He said, probably first Bengali artist I have seen who has color in his painting. He was very humorous. Dr. Goswami knows he was, how, <laughs> it was a <laughs> wonderful man. So how the whole day is moving, you could see in that film my journey. I love to travel and it's changing the light from early morning, then the day began, you know, the noon, afternoon, the monsoon, all this affected, you know, affected my painting. And when the evening is starting, uh, you must have seen a lot, lot of Lalten. I don't know if you have noticed, a uh, lot of Lalten dominated in my painting, many paintings, because um, Till the age of 18, I did not have electric light at home. So I had to study, paint, in whatever. So that was the Lalton. So my association with Lalton, it goes back from my childhood. So that's why it comes. And then later on, in, the, in Singapore art stage installation, you know, World Fair, I made an installation called Memory. You will see the later, later on that, uh, you know, slideshow that uh, image you will see that uh, 365 Lalten I have used with the original soundtrack of the sea, the monsoon, the river boat, which is uh, not to, I can't show it, you know, in the short time. So that you will see. And the celebration of life, it came because of this music and dance of Rajasthan. Those Katputli you have seen, Many of my early Rajasthan paintings, all the wall, the Katputlis, the Sekhavati, the blue, the rich Nila, what you say it, that it came to my painting from that. And Rajasthan and Bengal had a very strong connection. As everybody knows, the traders from Rajasthan, all the Marwaris, they traveled to uh, Bengal. Not only Calcutta was the main, because it was the capital, but all over India. And they started, you name anybody, any rich Marawaris, they really started in Calcutta more than 100 years back. And many of these fresco paintings, you will see a lot of influence of Kalighat part. Dr. Goswami is here, he knows. And many things in the houses and those havelis. It affected my painting in a big way. The sharp feature line in the evening, as I said, uh, the music, the folk music, the dance, everything, the celebration, it came. And how, you know, the sun is setting again, the new day is beginning. That's all of this film. I made four films. This was the first film I made. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed the film.
you could see the 40 years journey again that very early watercolor when I was in the school so I could really give few because the time is restricted here so then later part you know the landscapes Bengal landscapes watercolor some of the watercolors and oils installation sculptures and in that installation I mentioned that with the Lalten you could see that installation was there and that um, but from the golden egg the last installation was exhibited in Hong Kong this year is birth of this universe how the universe was born from the golden egg, black age it became the golden egg but it is the original memory is goes back to my childhood at the age of eight I had two small chicken and they grew up slowly slowly I had one small you know house I made them then after six months I saw that they started giving the eggs and that egg was supporting my art I used to sell those eggs and get some money and support my clay modeling buying some powder color to create some toys to sell them in the village fair so few years back I, I go to Rajasthan as you got to know already in Jodhpur I saw in the one warehouse these antique cages. Uh, there was a friend of mine, a uh, gallery owner from Bangalore, she was also with me. She said, what are you looking? I said, these cages are haunting me. He said, what is there in the cage? I said, there is something. It is speaking to me. She thought, I'm pagal ho gaya. <laughs> So she said, what will you do? I said, I want to buy them. I said, you will buy them for what? I said, I don't know for what, but I want to buy. So I went to this uh, warehouse owner. They are big, you know, antique dealer and all this. He was very rude. He said, he didn't know. He said, 3,000 plus GST plus transport plus all these plus packing. I'm <laughs> Again, I came back. Hmm. He said, Apu lena hai? I said, Apu card de dijiye. So I took his card, I went back to Delhi. Then I called him one day. I said, whatever the cages are there, you please send them. And you give me your bank details, I want to transfer the money. He sent it. So they were there for some time in that studio you saw in Noida, where I create the sculptures. Uh, I, with my, you know, the sculptor, the tall, thin, Ajab Singh, we started scrapping those cages, then made the completely rust free, then patina, color. Then I started drawing and that childhood memory of my, that chicken, the egg, because that chicken was cage free, free range. And it's today is the most, free range is the golden egg. Everybody wants to eat that egg, not the poultry egg. So I started drawing. Then I created this installation and it has an original soundtrack of the chicken which is very unique, a lot of other sound which I could not incorporate here because of the time constraint but I could hope, you know, give you some glance of my 40 years journey through this slideshow. So thank you very much once again for bearing your important time and to be here and be with me to support me for my more journey till the last day of my life. Thank you. An open heart and a curious head, and you're good for a start. The house is now open for questions. If you have a question or you would want to say something, kindly raise your hand and we'll pass on the mic to you. Any question that you have? I try and see less. Can you elaborate a little more on that? I try to see the essence of uh, everything, like you see the apple is the realistic thing, but I want to see the juice, which is the essence. And as he said, he mentioned that I try to express, uh, I, I express more, but I do less. It is the Zen, Chinese and Japanese. Like after the whole story, if you tell anybody, but if somebody can speak in one word that whole story, that would be the biggest success. So if you tell everything in art, then art, where is the hidden? Where is, you know, give, throw something that you must imagine. So as watercolor, 
We were, as you know, the government art college in Calcutta trained. A typical British schooling school, like first tone, second tone, third tone, top tone, you know, highlight, all this. And Bengal was, especially the Kalabhavan, Shanti Nikatan was very much influenced by Chinese and Japanese and their techniques and minimalism, wash technique. So then I was thinking that if I can combine in one stroke all first tone, second tone, third tone, highlight, starting and finishing, no in between, you know, give, throw something that you must imagine. So as watercolor, we were, as you know, the government art college in Calcutta trained. A typical British schooling school, like first tone, second tone, third tone, top tone, you know, highlight, all this. And Bengal was, especially the Kalabhavan, Shanti Niketan was very much influenced by Chinese and Japanese and their techniques and minimalism, wash technique. So then I was thinking that if I can combine in one stroke all first tone, second tone, third tone, highlight, starting and finishing, no in between and that will speak itself and it will create the minimalization. So that's where I have com combined and emerged with a new technique which is not even a typical British schooling, not even a Zen, Japanese or Chinese schooling. So I always try to see not you, the essence of you. Good evening sir. Hi. Good evening. Uh, my name is Ashima. And my question to you is that I've noticed that you use a very dense red tone in your works. So I want to understand how do you, uh, what and how do you understand colors in your work? And how do you relate to the intensity or the tone of the colors in your work? You know, color signifies many things. As when you see the sunrise, the red, the rising, the freedom, the struggle, you know, like blue when you see, blue can be cool. It's a cool color, but it depends. Blue can be very also warm color, how you use it. White takes you to shanti, the cool, coolness. Yellow is like a singer, singer rasha, you know. So each and every color, if you study the color therapy and it can be a mental therapy also. And for many patients, they you know, really cure them through the color therapy all over the world. So color is plays a you know, very, very important role in our life. You will see that many people, when they collect art, they don't want black paintings. I'm sure you know. They think that it's very depressed color that takes you to the negative feeling. But it is not true sometimes that col color, the color, what you call it, color, the black. Black is the combination of every color. It is never opaque. It is transparent. If the room is all dark, but still you can go through because it's transparent. So color is very, very important for any, any kind of art and in our life in nature, in every, everywhere. To my right, third row in the front. Thank you. I would like to understand your um, journey from being a sculptor to a painter. Kaise hai ke ek soch kabhi kagas pe sama jati hai aur kabhi aapko lagta hai ke nahi isko three dimensions mein hona chahiye. And then you move into um, film and other mediums. See, life is a big cycle. It, it goes and very, very spiral away. It grows. So sometimes you are in a different mood, like exactly you. You may like only white color. You will all buy white color shirt, white color everything. Sometimes white pasandi nahi aega. You are in a mood to do uh, all red. Ab ghar ka bhi sara change kara diya, raat o raat. So it is exactly like this, like art is, is boundless. You cannot restrict in one thing. It's not on paper. It goes with everything. And if you can transform anything into art, then that's the biggest success. And you know 
that there was the genius Picasso, he could transform anything into art. He could transform us. He could transform our clothes into art. Table chair he could transform into art. So it, is, it evolves uh, all the times very spontaneously. Not that, uh, like sometimes I'm seeing some contour line. So contour line, then the drawing or sketches comes. So I, I think, oh, I should, you know, sh do the shading. So then I think, oh my goodness, suddenly I see something that there is, light is going in a very unique dimension. So I'm thinking, oh, this is culture. Hona People can see the, you know, from every place, every aspect, from bottom, from top, from back. So it evolves all the time. So that way, very spontaneously, it evolves is my very spontaneous effort, not a very, uh, you know, it's a genuine effort, not a deliberate effort. Thank you very much. Taking a cue from that transforming art, uh, if I'm not being personal, it's about the shirt which you're wearing, the kurta rather you're wearing, it's so colorful. Is that yours designed, designed by you? There is a very dear friend, like a she's like a family. Mm -hmm. She's a Gujarati, born and brought up in Calcutta. She's a India's very well-known textile designer, and that shop is dominantly for women. And but that place in Calcutta is when I am there, I must be there. <laughs> and you see, all India's top people's wives to Mane Savana Azmi to you name any kid and kid to they buy sarees and everything from that place and they are all her friends. Darshan. Darshan. That's right. Weaver Studio. So I go there. One day I was there and this, you know, very typical Gujarati from Kutch, this Chadar was there. And, and sometimes I tell her that why you are not born like a man because she will fight all the time. I, I said, Darshan, that, that chadar can you show me? Are, that's ladies, why are you wanting that? They said, chadar. I said, Are, I want to buy that. You can't buy anything from this store. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she is always, and she has answer for everything, very intelligent. So I said, no, nah, uh, you give it to me. And she speaks fluent Bengali because she is better Bengali than me. Was a 30 years I'm out of Del uh, Calcutta, Bengal. So then she gave me, so I went to my simple teller and I said, either say line I draw, I've done the drawing in front of me, am ko bana dijiye. And uh, in that shop the maker is a Sadarji. Okay. <laughs> in two hours he will make it. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Two hours he made it. So I owed it and went. It's a very old one, by the way. It's about 12 years old. But it's beautiful. And yesterday I was in Mumbai for a program uh, where 20 Chinese billionaires were there and all the billionaires, many, 30 about from, Il they are all entrepreneurs. It's a big program was there and I was one of the, I said, I ko garib ko kyu billionaire ka samne fasa diya. Anyway, I was wearing this. You won't believe each and every Chinese billionaire, they wanted to take photo with me. Ah. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then what? And I have done many design of my own clothes. Fantastic. And many. And I wore them in, especially abroad. They go crazy to see those clothes. Understandably, understandably. Yeah, I just want to ask you another question, if you don't mind. The film which was on, in the end, the sun was pink. How did you manage that you? It's all natural. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. How did you uh, manage that you? There is no Photoshop. Everything is natural. Is outdoor shot. With 18 crew members, specialized crew member from Mumbai. It was shot in world's biggest movie camera called RED. When RED came in, it's a German camera. It's this right. big. And I hired them because I believe the quality, all my paper, canvas. Abhi to hum sab andar ka baad bol raha hai, itna artist hai, hamara to pura chala jayega. What time of the day was it when you got that pink hue? Uh, it was the setting sun. Setting sun in winter and 
I go three to four, five times. Uh, anything, anytime you ask me to go or talk about Rajasthan, I will definitely in Rajasthan. And I'm be there with their, I paint their whole day, I sit in the tilas, I painting, you know, all the time. And these are all original, no Photoshop. Actually, it was much more dense, but we could not manipulate in this, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, slight uh, projector or whatever. They said this is the maximum. It is much more romantic color it has. It's, it's much more saturated and it is a 70 mm film. It's not with the handicam the small video. It is a 70 mm proper film. On red. Red. Great work. Great work. Thank you very much. We have a question from Vanessa, second row. Thank you. Prish ji, sabse pehle aapka dhanyavad shahar mein aane ke liye. Thank you. Aur it was really feast to our eyes the way you presented your work in front of us, sir. My question is, first is transformation, uh, thoughts to visuals. If visuals, how you are deciding this should be into 3D and same visual can be in made into 2D also. And another uh, uh, question extended to this, that when you uh, made this film, see in a one, film so many frames were into this especially uh, the dancing and folk out of focusing uh, visuals so how you are managing uh, and size also there, there so many questions into this because small or big size medium size how you are deciding it is because big size it is not visible and the small size is easy to manage, but big size is not easy to manage. And how you are managing in your thought and giving the shapes. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, once somebody told me when I was doing a drawing, uh, there is a bull I created. It is 26 feet bull. It is not there, unfortunately. And I draw myself, I sculpt, I clay, I do it myself. Not I just do a market, give it to the people, they do it. Uh, I don't do that. I do it myself. So first of all, the, your question that how I decide that which will be sculpture, which will be drawing, which will be three dimension and all this. I think entirely this effect, a light effect, it plays big way in my mind. Because as uh, chairman said, the Rembrandt, I was big fan of Rembrandt, that light, the mystic light, how it creates. Because they were not really the real light. It was, it was just his mind was playing with that light that warm, very beautiful light. As I said, that light is life, and life is light. If there is no light, there is no question of any visual art. The visual is mentioned because it is, the light is there. So that actually probably signifies the line, forms, everything. And there, maybe I'm looking at a portrait or something, some expression, I'm thinking, hey, Drawing me maja nahi aega. So, iska sculpture banana jaya. But first I draw. I see, and I draw everywhere. In the plane also I draw. Eh? Even in the hotel room I draw. Dimaag ki kharaf hai mera. So, I draw all the time. Sometimes they ask me, the how many sketches? Probably some hundreds of sketchbooks. Some hundreds are there with me. And all the places is written and I do them, it's like writing a diary every day, which was a practice earlier days. There is nothing like this today, today's time. Then, as you said, that in that film, in, in that many things are there in that short film. You know, sometimes many people, they ask me, how long did you take to create this painting? Do ghanta, tin ghanta? I said, no, it is whole life's journey. So your obsession with this whole life, art and everything, object, color, line, forms, and that comes in one go. Like one watercolor is not just two hours you have executed. It is your whole life's journey that you could give this stroke and use that blue. So it is all composed and it comes through the brass. 
It is not one day or two hours execution. So the film is exactly like that. It is not that 10 minutes film, 30 years I have been going to Rajasthan and I'm spending, I'm sleeping, I'm mixing with those people. I am in all those. Those Habili, when I went, the first I did the series of watercolor of Rajasthan, of all the Habilis, because I have realized that until and unless you, you know, work properly, until and unless you do the drawing forms, color, the clear understanding, you cannot break it. If you don't know ABCD, you can't even make the sentence, you can't even wrote the poems, write the poems, you can't even write the essay, novel or anything. So I first, I, I don't uh, want to do the shortcut. There is no shortcut in life. There are many young artists, my biggest advice, there is no shortcut, hard work is the greatest wealth. Somebody told me that if you want to be like a turner, you must create the turner, the number of paintings he has created. Then you talk about it. Aajkal to college mein do sketch karke ho jata hai. Our time now, if we were not bringing some number of sketches that attendance was not given, ah, they were like Hitler. Those teachers were like, we had really wonderful teachers and they knew everything. Some wonderful artist we got, you know, had in, uh, with us uh, during the study. Ladies and gentlemen, 40 years of art, please put your hands together for artist Varesh Mati. Sir, we have one more question. She's 40 years of art and counting. We have one more question. What? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, I wanted to know the idea of bells behind your installation as we have seen your two installation in the bell. So I was very curious to know the usage of bells. In the 1996, first I went to Switzerland uh, for two months. I met somebody, invited me to a place called Emmental. If you are very fond of cheese, you know that world famous cheese called Emmental comes from that Emmental, which is close to Interlaken, just below Alps. And Emmental is dominated with the cows. Even at night, the cows are in the field, the summertime I was there. So I could hear the bells. When we hear the sound of bells from the church, when we hear this bell sound from the temple, I'm, I don't know if you have any experience earlier days in the villages, the mother used to put a ghanti here to the kid because that was the sensation that the child, mother is cooking, they are working, the life was different in those days, not with the cell phone, not with the WhatsApp and all this. So they were thinking, yes, my child is there. When the sound was not there, it was worry. Kya ho gaya? Pani mein gir to nahi gaya. So bell creates a sensation in our mind. It takes away the negative energy. It brings the positive energy in our mind. There are many things. And it's very symbolic. And bell is, the term bell is very, very part of our life as in every day, in everywhere, in every place. So that from that inspiration that uh, I created the sound of silence first, that bell head, that it is quiet, but it has the sound. Last Pare question of the evening. Paresh ji. Uh, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> My name is Shankar. I'm from Bangalore. I was very happy that you mentioned Bangalore in your talk. Who was that lady uh, who helped you in Bangalore get those? Uh, yes, she has a very famous gallery owner gallery called Shumukha? Gallery Shumukha. Ah. And uh, 25, more than 25 years old yes. gallery represents uh, very, very important art, photography, sculptures all over the world. I'm sure you know. And I must unveil you something. I have a studio and house in Bangalore. After the Himalayan discovery, spending summer times in the Himalaya, I wanted to discover the Nilgiris. So I said, let me go to south and discover the Nilgiris. So I asked Pamela, her name is Pamela, she's a Marwari. 
hail from Bikanir but lives in Bangalore. She's she's eye specialist originally. And her father was a very famous filmmaker in Chennai. You know, Chennai was the film capital. So she she was art lover, then started the art gallery. I requested Premila, I want to go to Kodai Canal. She said, Mai tumko ek wala villa kar dega. Mera bhabi ka ek villa hai, lake ka paas. So I was jumping, four bedroom, hum sab jayega, those lok. We all travel together sometimes, you know. Like five days they come with their children. Then after a few days he said, Nahi, tumko to ghar nahi de sakta hai. I said, I have arranged everything, Pramila, kya ho gaya? She said, tum to machi khayega. <laughs> because he said, Jaini. I said, Are to machi khayega, to kya hai bhai kya? Nahi, my bhavi said, you know, can't. So I said, Chalo, fir aapko dekhna aapko hi padega. Then she found a beautiful villa. I don't know, you might know Kodai Canal very well, in a very beautiful place. And that place is called Suicide Point. I don't know if you have ever been to Kodai Canal, you know, and it's near the golf course. Um, and sharp 6,000 feet down. And many suicide. Hey, it's a fish hota na? Udhari ki bohut kuda hai. Yes, that's right. So, then we, were, we started going. It was the most unique experience living in Kodai Canal. Uh, it was hilarious experience because there was, this is the estate with the, some villas. And there was this Tamil man at the gate. He would only understand good morning. Because otherwise he could not speak any, any English or any Hindi. So evening also he used to say good morning. So I, I think in Murmura is to kaise explain kare <laughs> So my boxes have come. I tried to explain many things. Then I thought, let me draw. But I said, hey, machi to draw karke bana ke dikha sakta hai. You would understand. But Murmura is a kaise draw. <laughs> you know what I did? Wo tharma bolo ta, usko peace diya. Bol bolo ke, I said, oh, hey, oh. It was a hilarious experience. <laughs> <laughs> then, next year, four months, I was in Uti, in between Uti and Kunur. That was another fascinating journey, four months. And there were many paintings, uh, there are many paintings uh, influenced by South, Southern Peninsula. I traveled whole of Southern Peninsula, not that time. I started 1986. And then, the 2002, when I Went to Kodai Canal, I met somebody. That gate man, he's at this another villa saying, a man who walks and what he does, he's an artist. He will say something in Tamil. He said, Bengal Raman, his wife is Bengali. And an art collector. He said, I know him. Which villa? He said, 21. So one, as you know, Bengali is after, you know, khana wana dupar mein na, chatter ji, banner ji, mukhar ji, no energy. So ya ta. So ya ta. The raja mein ka dak 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 dak. I said, what happened by idhar kwan aagi ha? Bison to na hai. Aagi ha, udhar there are a lot of bisons. Bison comes, you know, in front of you, you don't know, like group of them bison comes. And it's really beautiful place, mist in summer, and temperature is low, and a lot of fruits. So then we got friendly and he was happened to be a property dealer. He had a property little upmarket called BangaloreProperty.com. Now he's very big, he sold his company. He said, when you go back, we live in Bangalore, you must, we'll be delighted if you come and have dinner. So I went to his house, I had dinner, me and my wife. I saw beautiful Vikas. Vikas Bhattacharya, your M.A. Hussain. He said, I bought all these paintings from Saksi galleries. But from that day, that uh, my eye was on that Vikas. And that Vikas is with me today. I bought it. Once he wanted to sell some paintings, raise some money, and wanted to buy a villa where I live. He was the one who motivated me. Idhari lelo, saman mein kitna achcha mausam hai. Idhar hospital bhi paas hai. Are you referring to Korvati? 
Are you referring to the locality Kormangla? No, no, I mean White Field. White. That was the first oh, yeah. community in oh, Bangalore oh, called Resti right. Lake Vista, opposite right. Palm Meadows. House Lake Vista, opposite Palm Meadows. House is still there. Last two years I am not using it because um, I could not communicate with the people there. So, because so we used to take two people and to clean the house, winding up, it became big issues. But the house and, the, and that 850 feet, that airport painting was painted in Bangalore, for your information. Uh, because I had to beat the summer, winter and all the weather, so I decided that uh, let me, you know, do it in Bangalore. The moral of the story is, sky is the shelter for those who travel. You name a place and they'll have a home and a story. And the stories will go on. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the traveler, the artist, the sculptor, artist Paresh Mati. Thank you so much, sir. The heart wants what it wants, and when Professor Goswami is here, the heart wants to listen to him. Sir, I now request you to please address the audience on the occasion. It is with uh, much reluctance that I speak. I don't want to break the spell that Mr. Parish mighty wove. मुझे लगा कुछ ऐसे ये जो पिंजरे की बात कर रहे थे कि इन्होंने हमको पिंजरे में बंद कर रखा और उस इजाजत दे रहे हैं कि यहाँ से ये देख लो यहाँ से ये देख लो अगर आप ज़्यादा देर रुकोगे तो हो सकता है कि आपको कंस्ट्रक्शन महसूस हो लेकिन मैं पिंजरा खोल भी सकता हूँ परेश मैटी को मैं इन एब्सेंशिया जानता हूँ क्योंकि इनके ब्रदर-इन-लॉ इनके अंकल से मेरी अच्छी दोस्ती है इनका काम मैंने बहुत देर से देखा है एंड आई मस्ट से आई वाज वेरी इम्प्रेस्ड वेरी वेरी इम्प्रेस्ड क्योंकि कोई हद नहीं दिखती है कि यहाँ पे रुकना है और यहाँ से आगे नहीं जाना है क्या अमर नदीम कासिमी बहुत अच्छे शायर थे पाकिस्तान के उनका बड़ा अच्छा जुमला है जुमला नहीं एक नज़म का हिस्सा है कि मेरी मंजिल को उफ़क पार बताने वाले मैंने देखा है उफ़क ताबा उफ़क कोई नहीं मेरी मंजिल को उफ़क पार बताने वाले मैंने देखा है उफ़क تابا اوفا کوئی نہیں ایک مرکز ہو تو جچتا ہے تجسس لیکن انگنت دائروں میں گھومتی رہتی ہے زمین you tell me that there is a horizon there I've been to that horizon but there is another horizon beyond that and when I reach that horizon there is yet another horizon so one is moving in a certain sense constantly in a search एक तलाश है, जुनून है, एक तलाश है। जब इन्होंने फिल्म शुरू में दिखाई, हालांकि बहुत पुरानी फिल्म के हिसाब से, आज मेस्मराइज्ड, कंपलीटली मेस्मराइज्ड। एक धुंधल का सा क्रिएट करते हैं, और धुंधल के को फिर हटा देते हैं। एक-एक शॉट जो उसका था, मैं क्या बयान करूं, जो ज़हर में आता है, अगर एक मोर � जो चोंच है उसके ऊपर एक कतरा पानी का लटक रहा है, जैसे कि मोती हो किसी खूबसूरत लड़की ने पहन रखा हो नाक में। एक जगह पे एक औरत आती है और कुछ चीज उठा करके वहाँ ऊंट घूम रहे हैं, ऐसे करके ऊपर फेंकती है उनकी तरफ। मानी क्या है? उनकी पूजा कर रही है। कोई रिचुअल है फैमिली का इस पे छोड़ देते हैं एक्सप्लेन नहीं करते हैं जब बारिश आने बारिश तो नहीं आई बादल इकट्ठे होते हैं आसमान में तो बारिश शायद आएगी नहीं लेकिन हवा चल रही है तो जो चार लड़कियां उधर से गुजर रही हैं सिर्फ उनका आंचल ऐसे 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 हवा में लहरा रहा है बताने के लिए कि पॉसिबिलिटी है बारिश आने की 
لیکن ہے نہیں تو اس مہین طریقے سے دیکھنا اس ایک ایٹموسفیئر کریٹ کرنا بہت لوگوں کا حصہ نہیں ہے بہت لوگ نہیں کر سکتے ہیں نہ دیکھتے ہیں نہ کرنے کے قابل ہیں تو میں یہ سمجھتا ہوں کہ ایک ایکسپیرینس ہے جنہوں نے شیئر کیا ہے ہمارے ساتھ فار وچ آئی ایم ویری گریٹ فل کہ مجھے کہا گیا کہ آپ دو شبد کہیے میں چونکہ پڑھانے والا ہوں دو شبدوں میں بات نہیں کرتا لمبی بات کرتا ہوں میں ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو کنسٹرین مائی سیلف آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا کہ شروع میں بڑی سادگی سے چھوٹے چھوٹے جواب دے رہے تھے بعد میں جب نیریٹو کی بات آئی تو ایک کے بعد دوسرا دوسرے کے بعد تیسرا تیسرے کے بعد چوتھا نیریٹو ذکر کر رہے ہیں ہر ایک پینٹنگ کے پیچھے ایک نیریٹو ہے نیریٹو ہے کلیئرلی کہہ رہے ہیں کہ بالکل ایک چھوٹی سی چیز ہے سادگی لیو آؤٹ دس کیا ماتیس نے کیا کہا تھا ایوری تھنگ دیٹ از ناٹ دیر سپر فلوس از ناٹ اونلی سپر فلوس اٹ از ہارم فل اٹ ہیز ٹو بی ہارم فل کیونکہ اگر اس کو میں چھوڑ سکتا ہوں تو مجھے چھوڑنا چاہیے کانسنٹریٹ ایک چیز پہ یہاں پہ رکیے گا ہماری ٹریڈیشن میں لاگھوم جو ہے ایک بریوٹی جو ہے اس کی بہت تعریف ہے جب گرمیرین لکھتے تھے سنسکرت میں تو کہتے تھے اگر ہم نے ایک شبد کم کر لیا سینٹنس میں تو ایسے لگتا ہے کہ جیسے ہمارے گھر بیٹا پیدا ہوا ہے اتنی خوشی محسوس ہوتی ہے رائٹ تو یہ جو ابریویٹ کر کے باریک اس طرح کر کے کرنا اور اس کے پیچھے ایک دنیا ہے اور آپ کو کہنا کہ دیکھو اس کے پیچھے کیا ہے اب ایک تصویر تھی بالکل لگتا ہے کہ کمپلیٹلی ڈفرینٹ لیکن وہ دمینتی ہے ہنس کے ساتھ بات کر رہی ہے ہے نا ہم نہیں میں چاہتے نہیں ہیں لیکن اگر ہمارے ذہن میں ہے کہ دمینتی کی ہنس کے ساتھ بات چیت ہوتی تھی یا راجا روی ورما نے بنائی تھی ایک تصویر دمینتی ہنس کے ساتھ بات کر رہی ہے اس طرح کے ذکر ہیں میں لمبی بات نہیں کروں گا صرف یہ کہنا چاہتا ہوں کہ ان کے لفظوں کے پیچھے ان کی ڈرائنگ کے پیچھے ان کی فلموں کے پیچھے ایک بہت بڑی دنیا ہے گہرائی ہے اور دنیا ہے اور ہمیں اپنے آپ سے نکل کر کے دیکھنا چاہیے سد جلوہ رو برو ہے مرزا غالب نے کہا ہے جو مجگاں اٹھائیے دیر آر سائٹس دیر ود آؤٹ نمبر آل دیٹ یو ہیو ٹو ڈو اتنا ہے بس کے دید کے سامان لائیے یو لفٹ یور آئی لیش دیٹس آل دیٹ یو نیڈ ٹو دنیا بھری پڑی ہے چاہے ان کے کام میں یا سب دوسرے لوگوں کے کام میں اٹس این انویٹیشن انہوں نے ہمیں دعوت دی ہے آئیے دیکھیے یہ دنیا میں نے بنائی ہے اوپر والے نے تو بنائی ہے یہ دنیا میں نے بنائی ہے جو اوپر والے نے بنائی ہے اس کو میں نے تھوڑا بہت ادھر ادھر کر کے ٹھیک ٹھاک کیا ہے یہ اس کو بدلاؤ دیا ہے لیکن شی از انوائٹنگ اس ٹو اینٹر جیسے انہوں نے کہا کہ کھڑکیاں کھول رہے ہیں دروازے کھول رہے ہیں تھرو وچ یو این آئی ار بینگ آس جو پنجرے کے اندر ہم بند ہیں اپنے خیالوں کے پنجرے کے اندر ان کو دیکھنے کے لیے دعوت دے رہے ہیں ویری گریٹ فل آپ آئے ہمیں اتنی بہت بڑی باتیں فار اس کریٹیوڈ اف ناٹ ایکسپریسڈ میکنگ نو سچ ایر آئی ناؤ ریکویسٹ پروفیسر گوسوامی اکمپنیڈ بائی مسٹر بھیم ملوترا ٹو کائنڈلی کم فارورڈ اینڈ پرزینٹ اے ٹوکن آف آر گریٹیوڈ ٹو آرٹسٹ پریش میتی Can we have the dignitaries on the stage, please? Professor B.N. Goswami, artist Paresh Mehti, Mr. R.K. Pachnanda, and Mr. B. Malotra. And we all can join in with our applause. It's never too cold to clap.
Sonne. Now, a token of gratitude to Mr. R.K. Pachananda. Delicate stuff takes time. A token of gratitude to Mr. Murthy Ahuja and Ms. I.D. Gudiani. Can we have them on stage, please? So, Murthy Ahuja and I.D. Gudiani, they have the India's best frame studio. Char Manjula Uppar, they are great art lover. A token of gratitude for Mr. Manoj Tripathi ji. Sir, can we also have you on stage? They have specially come from Delhi to cover this event in their Creative Mind magazine. And a token of a gratitude from the very core of our heart to Professor Goswami, sir. I request Manoj Tripathi, sir, to kindly come forward and receive his token of gratitude. One is never short of art. And now for the group picture.